out of the box, IIS has a list of default documents that it will search for if a document isn't specified in the URL. Make sure that the proper default document is at the top of the list. This speeds up the time it takes to find that document. It's just another small site performance tweak, but in a very competitive market space, every little bit matters. One of the relatively unknown features of IIS is a plugin known as the IIS SEO Toolkit. You can install the toolkit into any supported instance of IIS, including localhost. The toolkit has three parts, site analysis, sitemaps, and robots files. The sitemaps generated with this toolkit are static and can be used in conjunction with a dynamic sitemap generated from server-side code. You can also create a sitemap index, which, if there are multiple sitemaps on a site, lists all the sitemaps, both dynamic and static. The sitemap index is what then gets submitted to the search engines via the webmaster tools like we saw in the first module. Robots exclusion files indicate to responsible crawlers the parts of the site they shouldn't index. These are both nice features, but not the most exciting part of the toolkit. The really cool part of the IIS SEO toolkit is the site analysis feature. Regardless of where you install the toolkit, you can analyze any publicly available website. The webmaster tools we saw in the first module will analyze only your website, but the IIS SEO toolkit can actually analyze a competitor's website. The analysis covers dozens of factors, from missing content, broken links, SEO violation, content length, performance, and so on. If you've used the site reports and web matrix, those are similar, but not quite as detailed as the ones from the SEO toolkit. Creating a report is easy. Just give the report a name and a URL and let it go. Depending on the size and speed of the site, analysis may take several minutes. Here, I've run an analysis on my blog. It took over six and a half minutes, so I'm not going to run it live. Since I started blogging in 2005, I've migrated my blog through several blog engines, and I apparently have a lot of work to do to clean it up. For this site, I'd want to start with the extensive number of violations. This is a WordPress blog using a free theme, so many of the Your CSS is Too Big warnings aren't things I can fix easily without changing or hacking the template. Don't be too daunted by the numbers. Hundreds of warnings and informational messages can often be resolved with a single change at times, especially on templated sites where the infraction is in the template. Template infractions will show up for every single page in your site in this report. The details are extensive, allowing for a great amount of drill down. For instance, let's take a look at broken hyperlinks. In this analysis, we can see a list of all the pages that have a broken hyperlink and where that hyperlink was pointing to. For further drilling down into the results, there is also a query builder where you can look at custom views of the results.